Hey Tubbs, can I be in your video? To say that's what started, that's crazy. Like, cause now yeah. at this point it all came full circle. Right. So you ended up going, you went to Ridgeview too, right? Yeah, I went to Ridgeview, yeah, so, yeah. 9th through 11th, yeah. For sure, so from going through the going through all of that, from playing to that brief period of what I'm going to do, like going to that point, because mm -hmm. after senior year, like I said, I talked to you about how like it's not making sense. You said everything is going to slow down once you get, get older, once you stop, like get out, out of school, because there's so much pressure on you being that you're trying to make it, you're trying to be successful in hooping, but once you're out of school, maybe you even got onto a team, but the pressure of it kind of subsides a little bit because you're so you're used to it now. It's like, right. okay. So with that being said, talk about your experience coaching under Stoneman, and like you said, he took a chance on you. So, right. Talk about that experience coaching under them, and then the knowledge you gained because after a while, Ridgeview mm -hmm. always been that team where it was second round, third round, but it right. just couldn't get over the hump. So you've seen all of that up to the point where. We finally won. So yeah. talk about that experience. Man, just uh well when I was on the combs, uh I was learn I was just learning how everything went, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I remember we lost Kanan Kaden Rice and Kanan and Khalil Lewis. Kate Khalil Lewis, Kanan, they were seniors. Yep. And I, that's who I came in with. I came in with them. That's what it was on B team. Yep. And I was still in college. I, I was at yeah, USC I Aiken. Mm -hmm. And uh, I traveled with them to that game. I drove from Aiken to Columbia, got mm -hmm. on the bus at Ridgeview, rolled with them to Spartanburg love. for the first round game. And uh, I remember sitting on that bench, and we lost Dog. in double overtime. Dog. Caden had like 30. He's that hope. <laughs> and, uh, he was shooting. He was nice. shooting, bro. And that that's kind of when he emerged, like, okay, Caden Rice going to be yeah. D1. But uh, – I remember sure. sitting. I remember after the game, man, you know, seeing them boys crying, cause I was gone. I was at Ridgeview, and then I left to, to go to college to be like okay, a college okay. student. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, I remember them boys crying. I remember Kanan was like, "Man, we we wasn't working, bro. We wasn't doing what we was supposed to do. Like right. we was sitting on the bus. He was crying. He was just spilling it. And I was like, "Bro, I gotta come back. I gotta, right. I, gotta, I, gotta I gotta come back to Ridgeview. I gotta help them young boys out. So I, that's when I." I moved back to Columbia, mm. did online classes, and that's when Combs resigned. Yep. And then Stoneman got the job. Nobody really knew who he was because he was from out of state. Boy. So me and another assistant coach, me and another coach, Capehart, yep. we Shout met. Capehart. Capehart, real one. We met with Stoneman once he got the job, and it was from there. So Stoneman, bro, taught me a lot. Stoneman really taught me the, the importance of player development. Like, I knew what it was. But he really instilled player development, mm. skill development, work like every day for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. He had the bigs, I had the guards what? every day. Like it wasn't like we was skipping, we wasn't skipping that. Mm. That was 20 minutes every day. You know what I'm saying? And I seen the difference coming from my my year, seeing that same experience you was talking about. Everybody crying at the end of that playoff series. It was like, man. We didn't put in the work we were supposed to. We was like, yeah, right. we, we got a new coach. He doing his thing. We winning, but we didn't take that extra step. We didn't do what we were supposed to do. Right. And he came in with the mindset like, yo, next game, it's another game. Like, if you ain't playing, you're not getting in. Right. So upperclassmen, lowerclassmen, whatever the case may be, if you hooping, you playing. Right. So with that mindset coming in, like, he wasn't playing. He was trying to win. So to see the player development you speak on, right. he came in, transformed Malcolm. Waylon was working like he really with them underclassmen. He was like, "Yo, y'all coming early? Y'all, I'm getting y'all ready for that next year." Right. And then we made it that what third, second, third round, fail yeah. third right round, yeah, and next year, yeah. one, yeah, win, 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 just get straight to winning. Like but, that but, player development is real. But it was crazy because I see I was thinking about mm. Combs last year for sure. I forgot about Stoneman first year. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, with all with Trey Hahn and them boys, yes. and, and them boys. Yeah. So Stoneman always say. He used to be like, man, if they just would have listened to me, we would have won a state championship. Mm. He always say that, like when we talked about it, because that we lost third round. Word. And that team was a new and we was team. rolling. We Ro was rolling. Rolling, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we were doing good. Like, I can't even remember who we played in the playoffs, but I just remember when we went. Waylon, Caden. Waylon, Caden. Um, Mal Trey, Trey Hyde, Mal 
Baby D was starting at that point, I think. No, it was Josiah. He was playing. He was getting burned. Josiah, yeah. And then he liked DeMarcus. DeMarcus was playing. Yep. Because it was only two sophomores. It was only Waylon yeah, and Malcolm. Yeah, that, they was the new. They was the two new ones. So just yep. think about that. From He only returned two players the next year. And the rest of that team was from yeah, JV. Yeah, they moved up. Yeah, they moved up. That was sure. the team I was coaching on JV. Yeah. And they was working. They was they, they was working. We, they was working. And they that's when Stoneman the real one, bro, because Stoneman allowed us to just work. He ain't never try to hold he ain't us back. He trying to step like, on no toes. If, I, if it was a Sunday night and I'm like, Coach, I want to get in the gym. I need to get in the gym, yeah. I had keys, so it was, you know what I'm saying? He just let us get in the gym and let us grind. So, And when they played, he trusted them. Mm. He didn't hold them back because he knew – how much work them boys was putting in. So if Juice or Cross, Boy. if they just pulled one, he wasn't like – I ain't tripping. That's a bad shot. Like, he kind of was just like oh, – Oh, he gave real freedom then. Yeah, okay. real freedom. Okay. Like, yeah, more freedom than the average coach, for sure. sure. So I learned a lot from Stoneman just on that aspect and trusting and, and defense. He taught defense real well. Like, I, I haven't – I I mean, I've seen – like, I was under Coach Norris at Keenan, so he taught yeah, defense yeah. great okay. too. But Stallman really, like, three-on-three three defense. Mm. I used to be like, this is stupid. Like, why are three we doing three-on-three? Three three? Like, why are we doing three-on-three? On three? Why are we not doing shell? But it but it made sense, like, pick and roll, you know, pass the screen away, jump into the ball. Okay, yeah. Like, just doing stuff like that. Oh, and he, dang, so. he was doing it every day. So mm. then when the game started, it was – the kids was picking it up and – we would, Malcolm had Malcolm had ten blocks because of how we our defense Bruh, was. You he know got what I'm so much better to see yeah. from the start, working on just jump hooks, just laying the ball. Bro, right. to see how good he got in his instincts, like crazy like that on defense. Bro, that was crazy. I yeah. was like, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna. They turned him into a beast. Yeah, his timing and then the skill development that Stoneman did with him. Stoneman spent. Yeah. And I mean, we had other coaches too that chipped in. Like Fred was there. Yeah. Crawford. Fred you know, was always boy. Yeah, Fred, Fred yeah, was yeah, always around. Yeah. Fred. Fred loved the big. So you know, like other coaches was putting in work too. But yeah, Stoneman sure. really had the drill. Like when college coaches was coming in, he had that certain drill that he used to do with Malcolm. I don't know if you remember, but when he was put, the, he would put the basketballs. All along the block, yep, the elbow, yep, yep, and he would have yep. Malcolm drop step and dunk. Drop it. step dunk, yep. Bro, he was doing it from the free throw line, bro. bro and he was tough. He, he wasn't even tough. good yet, and he was doing that. So like after time, college coaches was wait. They loved that drill. Just like, waiting for him. They would wait for that drill.